Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, reading two verses from Psalms 27, followed with Pat's Two Cents. All right. Encouragement night. Verse 5 and 6. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle. Shall he hide me? He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. I'm going to stop right there because I just want you to hear how God works. Listen, I'm going to share a little example. Pat's two cents now. When you get a plane, an eagle, or whatever, a plane or an eagle, a live eagle. (laughs) The one thing that enables them to soar high is the resistance, the aerodynamics of resistance. Now when resistance hits, somebody has designed that plane ingeniously, I don't know if that's a word, but I made it up, Just, just go with it to fly, to use the resistance of the airflow to push it as high as it can go and keep it there. Now, with an eagle, God's, you know, God's better than man. Yeah, well, God has designed the eagle, created him to use the resistance of the air to soar. That's why they say soar like an eagle. Listen, you guys. When you're going through, when you are meeting with resistance on this end and resistance on that, and you're looking for God to rescue you, God does not always rescue you. God enables you By his grace to keep rising above, rising above. And he gives you the eyes of his understanding as you find yourself looking down at the situation through God's perspective. Then you're able to turn off the panic button. Because you realize God is working something right now. What I want to explain is there are times when we need an attitude adjustment. God will allow a false witness to rise. God will allow lack necessities to rear their ugly heads in our lives God will allow a crisis and we can't understand why 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 because we're thinking well no I belong to the Lord well guess what Jesus really went through now didn't he and him being the son of God did not exempt him from suffering You know, there's a scripture that says, uh, I'm going to put it in Pat's two cents so that you get it the way it meant it. Where it says, in my words, you not only become acquainted with the blessings of Jesus and the goodness of Jesus and all the good stuff that comes with him, but you also become acquainted with the sufferings. That is how You become a true disciple of Jesus Christ. It is a cinch to be nice when people are nice to you. It is a cinch to love when people are loving you. It is a piece of cake to be happy, at peace, and joyful when everything's going your way. But 
the muscles don't develop by sitting still and relaxing. <sighs> muscles meet with resistance and it is resistance that builds muscle. So when you find yourself hitting the panic button, think forward and say, Lord, what are you calling me to do? Because it sure looks like you are developing me in some way and using life's vicissitudes to do it with. Don't lose heart. God is wiser than you and I could ever be. God's ways are not our ways. And God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Hmm. He is too wise to be mistaken. Too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand and you can't see his plan. And you can't trace his hand. You can't figure out what the heck he's doing. Trust his heart. Listen. I know it's difficult. I, I, I don't know how else to say this. Except when you've done all you can to stand. Stand. You have no idea what you're accomplishing. By standing in the wind of resistance. By standing on the promises of God. By leaning on the everlasting arms. You have no idea what God is working inside of your very core. If you can go through this thing with a good attitude. If you can go through without being bitter. If you can manage to appropriate God's help. That enables you to forgive. And you forgive with all God gives you to forgive with. I, I'm just adding a list. If you bless when they curse. If you're silent while they're hollering. Hmm? Yeah. If you pray. While they are preying on you. I am telling you. The growth. You will. Experience. Will amaze you. Whoever is showing their narrow behind. Will continue to show their narrow behind. That's between them and God. But when you go through. With everything you can. God's way. Your growth. Is exponential. And you will find yourself years later. Looking way down. At people. Who have refused to grow. People who have refused to do it God's way. And God will be able to use you mightily. Because you have lived through it. That's why Jesus is so high. Everything he went through was without sin. The higher you set your Holy Ghost bar, baby. The taller you will grow in supernatural, spiritual stature. Hmm. And it will amaze many. How God chooses to use you. When the dust settles. God bless you. Remember all things. Work together for good. 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 For those that are. Who love God. And for those who are. 
called according to his purpose.